Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to recreate this landing page from scratch using Figma. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're going to start from the basics and uh, it's going to be around creating a frame, which uh, is uh, going to be at uh, 1440 pixels of width, since uh, I believe it's a good uh, uh, range uh, to start with whenever you're creating uh, a desktop landing page. So here under the desktop section, you can actually see that uh, the default desktop, desktop is actually 1440 pixels of width. And uh, what I always like to do whenever I start a new project for a client uh, or even a personal project uh, really is uh, to lay out uh, the grids and uh, we're going to give it uh, a column of uh, 12 and uh, this is going to essentially enable us uh, to have uh, the column system in uh, place so that we can organize our designs uh, in uh, a structured uh, way so what we want to do next uh, is uh, we're going to give it uh, a color which uh, is going to be more light uh, since uh, I don't want uh, the grids uh, to be overwhelming uh, as a designer, so you want to have uh, a, a rough idea, but uh, you don't want them to overlap uh, the design. And we're also going to give it uh, some uh, margin so that uh, we can uh, focus uh, the design on uh, the center. All right, so at this point, uh, we can get started with uh, the basics which uh, in this case is going to be giving it a background uh, uh, rectangle and uh, I'm going to start typing in uh, the text which uh, is going to be AI solutions and uh, I'm actually going to just bring this down for a moment I'm going to increase the size and uh, basically we use the Satoshi for this uh, font, but you can also use free Google web fonts uh, uh, such as Montserrat or um, any other font which is uh, similar to this one. We're also going to give it just a little bit of uh, letter spacing and uh, I'm going to add uh, this uh, symbol which uh, I got from uh, Nun project and uh, this one right here is uh, essentially going to act uh, as uh, a basic uh, logo for this um, landing page. All right, now at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate uh, this text. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so we can create uh, the main menu. So I'm going to write over here about uh, services and uh, we're going to add a few more menu items blog uh, and uh, get started which is going to be a button that we're gonna add uh, in uh, just a moment all right so let's add uh, this rectangle let's round it up so that it's uh, nice and tidy i'm going to bring this one right here center it uh, and uh, i'm basically going to start uh, organizing this uh, in a way that uh, makes sense visually and now let's actually go back uh, let's add the background uh, rectangle and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm going to copy the uh, image from the original which uh, as you may notice uh, um, there's a few things going on here so initially i got this image from uh, freepeak.com uh, which uh, at the moment uh, is uh, my favorite uh, place uh, to find uh, royalty free images and uh, not only the um, a lot of the content is uh, free so you can use freepeak for the very most part for free uh, the subscription which I do have uh, and uh, I'm not sponsored with them so it's just I'm just sharing like what I use uh, what I like using is uh, very cheap uh, compared to a lot of the royalty free um, image uh, uh, sites uh, I think it's just like 15 bucks a month uh, compared to you know if you go to other ones which we all know can be hundreds <laughs> for uh, a set of photos so yeah just one which I really like uh, 
And uh, one uh, more thing that I like to mention about FreePick is that they have this um, edit online option, which uh, is uh, really useful in uh, some instances where <clears throat> I need to remove the background and I want to do it on the fly without having to, you know, download the image, go on Photoshop. Okay, and there was an error for, for this one, but usually it works like a charm. Um, I don't really like tweak with any of these settings. If I, ha if I have to do any image manipulation, I will go on Photoshop for the most part. But um, yeah, just a resource that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> so long story short, this is where I got the photo. And uh, I also added a linear gradient, which as you can see goes from here to here with uh, these two colors. And you can add uh, these uh, right here from the film. And uh, what we're gonna do next is so we're going to select all of what we had before, I'm going to make it into white. And I'm also going to change uh, the uh, style of the button so that uh, it uh, essentially has uh, this uh, style right here. So extremely simple. We have a stroke, which is 70% uh, full, full white at uh, two pixels. And I uh, also added a linear, which you know could very well be uh, just a white uh, fill at 20%. So just to give it that, uh, that nice uh, look overall. And uh, next, uh, we're going to add uh, some uh, text, which uh, is going to be this one right here. Scale your online presence with AI. And uh, I'm just going to grab again uh, this uh, element for visual consistency, bring it right here. And uh, we are adding uh, a nice uh, touch uh, visually, but the core principle to keep in mind here is that uh, we are emphasizing uh, a area of the headline uh, that uh, needs extra emphasis, which is the AI part. So you don't just add these things, uh, these elements uh, as uh, visual decorations, but instead uh, as uh, supporting uh, material. Uh, you can also add uh, uh, other elements, uh, like in the original one, <coughs> I added this tag, which is extremely simple. Uh, text, uh, then uh, we have the exact uh, same uh, element copied and pasted for the tag. And then I found this uh, nice uh, um, icon uh, again on a noun project, which is, um, in my opinion, a, a really great uh, place uh, to basically find uh, uh, all sorts of different icons. So if I search for arrows, uh, you can see that uh, there's going to be like a bazillion type of arrows coming up. Uh, usually what I do is uh, within a project, I would stick within a one icon set uh, and then use a noun project uh, for essentially more complicated il illustrative uh, icons, which are more like one-off icons in the project. So I like the consistency of one uh, icon set uh, usually, but yeah, then, then it really helps to have uh, uh, that extra element uh, on top of it or that choice. Now over here, I'm going to write uh, the how it works. And uh, for this one, I'm going to change the style just a little bit, just to mix things up uh, and create a hierarchy of primary buttons and uh, secondary ones. And I'm going to make this completely white. Uh, 100% uh, remove this uh, and uh, here we go. All right, I'm also going to go ahead and add a arrow icon, which again, you can find on any icon set. Uh, apart from now project, I like, like to use uh, Nucleo icons, which uh, is a really nice uh, software for dragging and dropping icons directly on Figma. And uh, we have the, the base really for for this uh, hero section. Now, again, uh, I went on uh, uh, freepeak.com to find a person. I used uh, their uh, native uh, function of uh, removing the background. So this was an image with a background on freepeak and I just uh, uh, got it from there and uh, extracted it uh, without, uh, without the background. 
and um, and there you go really nice uh, and simple way to to get high quality uh, picks uh, from there now the, the next step on uh, this landing page uh, is uh, to simply add uh, some uh, logos and these are always good for social proof uh, and uh, basically you can either add sample logos with uh, a plugin such as this one right here which is vector logos uh, free plugin in figma you can search for example for you know, google logo and you're going to find all sorts of uh, different logos the beautiful thing about this uh, is that um, um, you essentially have uh, the vector version so it's not uh, a png so you don't have to go on google and find the uh, different different logos these are all uh, vector graphics so super high quality which you know it's a must uh, you can change the colors you can edit them uh, scale them up and down so super easy and uh, super good quality and then the very next part is going to be adding uh, the the section right here which uh, is going to be about the services because you don't want uh, people to waste too much time on uh, your site you essentially want them uh, to know what uh, what the deal is what they are their, your, your services or your client services uh, and um, product information right off the bat so here we have it very simple headline as you can see we are essentially making the focus on the ai services uh, so again the focus is uh, based on uh, on the need uh, that they, that you want to communicate uh, so we're not just uh, adding these elements as decorative uh, elements but rather um, elements that are um, that have a, a reasoning behind them so that's that and then uh, we added also a learn more pretty straightforward again icon from one of those icon sets uh, learn more same uh, um, same uh, font same everything uh, just made it into blue because call to actions usually you want to um, keep uh, them on a separate color as the main uh, content uh, in uh, the body and then uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to add uh, a few different um, rectangles and uh, i could drag and drop the original but i want to show you exactly how it's done in an easy way so as you can see the grids uh, this is like where, where the grids uh, can really help out uh, to create that order and uh, basically making everything uh, easy i also in the original added uh, this uh, this drop shadow if it's going to copy the style sometimes it's uh, okay here we go so i'm keeping uh, the drop shadow as default which by the way these are the settings so zero x axis 12 y axis so that it's uh it's more going towards the in this down section uh blur 40 so quite blurred we have uh, this uh, um, this hue when it comes to the to the shadow, so it's tint of blue. And uh, if we check out uh, the other one, which is going to be a little bit above, uh, we have this uh, the same base, uh, but essentially with uh, this uh, hover overlay on top of it. So in general, quite simple and. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, copy these elements right here. Yep. And uh, again, these runs are pretty straightforward. We have same Satoshi font, uh, and then uh, simply I'm going to grab this other one. It's going to copy. And bring it right here and same also for this one all right and then uh, we're going to add uh, the the text stack below uh, that one is going to 
basically be another another section and again all, all of these uh, you can see our vector logos so i got them from the plugin which uh, i shared with you just a moment ago and uh, the rest is pretty pretty straightforward uh, i would say we're going to continue with uh, some more of uh, this design soon but uh, you kind of get the gist of it uh, by now and uh, you can understand uh, what are the essential requirements really to to get uh, to a design uh, around these lines uh, um, we're going to also add uh, the the image because i want to show you a very useful plugin which you can use to create this type of uh, designs so as you can see i have a random ui screen and uh, basically it's a, it's within this mockup which uh, looks quite nice and uh, this mockup i got from uh, this uh, mockup plugin which is called mockup surprise surprise and uh, let's just wait a second as you can see you're going to find all sorts uh, of uh, different mockups right here so really useful really um, great thing about it is that you can uh, have a lot of mockups for free so definitely check it out it's my favorite mockup uh, plugin so far and uh, we also added uh, a few different elements here on the right uh, when it comes to the text so i'm going to copy this one uh, right here again pretty simple just different uh, style of the text uh, overall and uh, just trying to to make sense of it uh, within the grand scheme of things uh, on uh, this uh, very um, very page so this is uh, pretty much it for this video hope uh, it uh, was helpful hope you learned a few design nuggets here and there and uh, i myself i'm a designer with over 10 years of experience so i'm basically sharing my experience here on uh, youtube and um, if you want to learn more about uh, design figma uh, ui ux feel free to check out my other videos and i'll see you in the very next one